Hi, this is Joe from Brain Buffet. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create an animated title. I'm using an example from my Brain Buffet course on Premiere Pro, which I created to prepare students for their Adobe Certified Associate exam. All right, let's animate this title. A lot of times I'll have a lower third come flying on and then you know fly off or something like that. So let's talk about how you would do that. I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this because there's a brand new way in Premiere Pro 2018 in the April release. But first I'm gonna show you the old fashioned way. So first of all, remember we pin these together. So I'm gonna to wanna to do this animation to the text layer. So I'm gonna select the text layer and go to my effect controls panel. And it might be easier for a simple editing or, you know, I don't know. Well, actually this looks pretty compact. So I'll, I'll just keep it right here. I'm gonna scroll all the way down here to the bottom and you'll see that as I'm scrolling down, here's the shape, that box. I don't wanna animate that. And here's the text, that's what I wanna animate. So there's the text, I'm gonna keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and there's the transformation properties for this title. So before I start editing that, I'm gonna just stretch this out a skosh so that the title kind of covers up the entire clip there just just for fun basically you want your title to be on there long enough that you can easily read it so um in fact maybe let's see that'd be five seconds long four seconds long there's a duration four and a half so that's probably on there long enough okay stretching it out i want the full t length of time okay so here's here's how i like to edit it so here's the beginning and uh, it starts at about 313 i'm just gonna hit play 1001 so about one second for 17 so about a second and that's where i want the title to to land that's how much time i want the title to go from here to there so i'm going to come over here to position and turn on my keyframes by clicking on the stopwatch and that created the first keyframe hey this is the position i want the title to be in after a second then I'm just gonna scroll back and move the title off the screen. And you can either click and drag and drop it. So that's one easy way. If you hold shift down, see how it's easy to go up or down. But if you hold shift down, it forces it, and I'm getting it started first, it forces it to be horizontal. Okay, you can also scrub these numbers. The number on the right is the, or the vertical, don't wanna do that. And the number on the left is the horizontal, that's what I wanna be scrubbing. And if it's going real slow, you can hold shift down to go 10 times as fast and control does the opposite, it makes it even go slower. So I'm gonna hold shift down to get it really off there. Okay, so now let's try it. We're gonna hit space bar. Nice. If your timing's not right, let's say I think that's a little too slow, you can grab these keyframes and make them closer. The closer they are, the faster it is. The farther away it is, the slower it is. So this is just basic keyframing. So you can adjust the speed. And then right now, it's kind of going at a linear or the same pace the entire time. So you might want to do a little easing. If you right click on a clip, you can come down here to temporal interpolation and choose like in this case, I want to ease it out. And then in this case, I'll ease it in. There we go. And let's watch it again. Sink. There we go. Now, do you have to know how to do this for the exam? It is one of the objectives. So practice animating your titles. Now, one thing I wanna show you is how you can do this the new way. So that's the old way. You got it done, congratulations. And you can tell we've applied an effect to this because it has the little purple FX badge here for our video. And you'll notice over here in the uh, essential graphics that see how these are all white except for position, it's blue, and that's showing you that you've applied those keyframes. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete it, delete those keyframes. And this time we're going to go to that same spot approximately. You click on this, to toggle the animation on and off. So I'm gonna just turn it off. So see how it's white, it's, it's normal. If I just move things, it's not gonna animate, but as soon as I click on it, it sets that first keyframe. See, there's the keyframe. I move back on the timeline here and I just scrub this number or I grab this and it automatically created that second keyframe. So you can actually now do all your basic transformation keyframing right here in the essential graphics panel, which is pretty darn cool. Now, if you don't have the effects control, let's say I, I don't have that up, I have something else up, and I wanna do that easing, or I wanna adjust the keyframes, you can actually do that right down here on the timeline. If you right click on the effects badge and come down here to the text, cause that's what I've been animating, and come down here to 
transform position. Now these keyframes, let me go ahead and zoom in. Those keyframes right there, those are the same keyframes that I was working with in effect controls. So I can click on this and there's the Bezier handle. So I can do that easing right here in on the timeline. So super cool new feature. You might not have it unless your school has downloaded the latest version. My school doesn't even have this version. This is my home computer. So you might have to do it with the effect controls here, depending on the version of Premiere Pro that you're working with. But that is a cool new one. If you have the opportunity, try it out. Hi, everyone. Thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.